What's up guys, Minimal Tech here, and it's finally time to review Lineage OS on the good old Moto G3. Let's get started. Alright, to start off with, basically everything that was here in Cyanogen Mod 14 is, still remains the same. You have your, your quick screen, your quick glance, ambient display, works pretty good, as with everything so far. I really have yet to encounter any problems with it, it's fast, fluid. And actually, there's been a lot of updates since the ROM came out, as you can see right there. Lineage OS has been really good with updating the ROM and keeping it up to date, fixing any small bug fixes. It says nightly, but honestly, I would say this is definitely stable to run every day and become your daily driver ROM. Everything works perfectly, flawlessly, everything opens up nice and smooth. Multitasking between apps works like a charm. As for the features this ROM has, it's pretty much the exact same as Cyanogen Mod 14. It doesn't really look like they've, um, they're still building it up. They still haven't added the usual Cyanogen Mod features with the theme engine and stuff that was available in previous versions. Uh, the only really customization that's new here are these three, the quick gestures, which work really good. The buttons in here also, you know, swap out the nav bar and the gestures chop chop all of that sweet stuff which double twist to open your camera works flawlessly still chopping your phone to open the flashlight always works better on this phone than my moto x ironically i would say if you guys are still running san engine mod 14 to definitely try this out because it's working pretty good flawlessly and it brings this phone back up to date in 2017 and it just makes it an all around great phone again just like it was when it originally came out. So I would go ahead and say you guys should definitely flash this, everything is stable, everything works, all your gestures and stuff are working properly and yeah, nice and smooth and you have the added benefits of some of the stock features with Nougat, you know, multitasking there and let's run that down here and everything works nice and buttery smooth smoother than ever and for only two gigs of ram again this thing performs outperforms even phones with three or four gigs of ram i would say just three but you know nougat looks like it's really promising and the rom is going to continue improving with future updates from lineage and i would say go ahead and flash it because it's an amazing ROM, it's going to make your phone fast, and it's honestly way better than the stock ROM, and it helps bring a phone from two years ago up to par with some of the phones that are being released this year. So guys, um, there's really not much to be said. It's basically the same thing as Cyanage Mod 14 with a different boot animation and not many other features, different looks here and there. But for now, this ROM is basically the same as Sanogen Mod 14. And yeah, there's not much to be said about it. I mean, it's a good ROM, that's for sure. It's just an updated version of Sanogen Mod running on here. And yeah, I would, I would recommend flashing it because the old Sanogen Mod 14 ROM is no longer being updated or supported. And this just brings new life to the Moto G. And considering Lineage is basically restarting again, I would say go ahead and flash it again. It's just really good and awesome, and it's going to make your fun super fast. Yeah, guys, that's it for the review. That really wasn't a review, but I mean, there isn't much to be said about Lineage OS. It's just a great ROM, updated version of Cyanogen Mod, and everything's working functionally as it should. That's it, guys, for this video. Please like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more tech videos. I'm Minimal Tech and I'm out. Take care guys, bye.